Presented here is a video of left hepatectomy performed with the Da Vinci XI robotic surgical system. Our patient is a 58 year old gentleman with good performance status noted to have synchronous hepatic metastasis from a rectal adenocarcinoma status post abdominal perineal resection. Imaging confirmed metastatic deposits in the segment 3 and 4 of the left liver with adequate functional remnant for a planned left hepatectomy. As noted in the imaging, our patient needs a formal left hepatectomy preserving the middle hepatic vein. Total bifurcation is shown here for perspective. The Mirian protocol scan confirms an adequate functional liver remnant for a planned left hepatectomy. We have standardized our port placement as shown in the diagram with four robotic and two assistant ports bipolar and camera through R1 and R2 respectively. We begin with careful and meticulous dissection of the portal structures, delineating vessels and the bile duct for appropriate ligation and division. The cystic artery and the cystic duct are dissected carefully. Once the cystic duct and the artery are dissected, the cystic artery is ligated and divided. The gallbladder is then detached from the undersurface of the liver, exposing its fossa. We then proceed to dissect and isolate the left portal pedicle. Left hepatic artery seen here is dissected out. Which is ligated and divided. With the division of the left hepatic artery, we see the left branch of portal vein just behind, which is meticulously dissected for clamping as shown subsequently. Depicted here for anatomical relations are the structures delineated so far with the biliary system, the hepatic artery and the posteriorly placed portal vein as shown in the diagrammatic representation. The left portal vein, which was meticulously dissected, is clamped. The liver retraction is released and the parenchyma is marked over the capsule for the transaction plane running along the cantilever line from the GB fossa till the left margin of IVC at the origin of the left hepatic vein. This is the plane along which a line of demarcation is noted with the division of blood supply to the left liver as seen here. The clamp on the left portal vein is released and the left branch of portal vein is divided. With the artery and the portal vein divided, we now turn our attention to the left hepatic duct. Generally, we always prefer to take the left hepatic duct intraparenchymally. However, since the left hepatic duct had a long extra hepatic course and was well visualized, it was dissected and transected before parenchymal transection. Transection plane is also marked on the undersurface of the liver, joining the plane that has already been marked previously. Peritoneal attachments of the liver like the falciform ligament and the left triangular ligament are taken down. Complete mobilization of the left lobe of liver entails division of the anterior and the posterior folds of the left triangular ligament. Division proceeds till the left margin of the IVC is noted. The posterior plane of transaction is communicated with the anterior plane that has already been marked. For the purpose of good traction, while proceeding with the parenchymal transaction, a stitch is taken on either side of the transaction plane and a vessel tape is used to lift up the liver as shown here. This is similar to the rubber band technique popularized by Professor Choi from Korea. The similar technique is followed on either side of the transaction plane for uniform traction.
With convenient traction on either side of the plane, we proceed with the transaction of parenchyma along the line of demarcation seen previously. Parenchymal division is undertaken with the combination of a bipolar cautery and clips to ensure safe and hemostatic ligation of vessels encountered along the way. As we proceed with the transaction, we see the surface of the middle hepatic vein. With the tributary from the segment 4 going to the MH3 which is ligated and divided. Transaction continues with division of any vessels that are encountered. The left hepatic vein is divided using an Echelon 60 stapler. Cholecystectomy is completed. Meticulous hemostasis is achieved and an absorbable hemostat is placed over the raw transected surface. A specimen bag is then introduced into the abdominal cavity and both the transected liver and the resected gallbladder are placed within the bag. Specimen retrieval is done through an opening that has been created by communicating two of the robotic ports. With a total intraoperative blood loss of 600 cc, our patient was discharged on the post-operative day 7 with an uneventful post-operative course. Final histopathology confirmed a metastatic adenocarcinoma of the rectum with clear margins and the patient is planned for adjuvant K-pox.